Hey everyone. Uh, I've been really humbled today. Um, I was reading in Job and just I, I learned a lot. But um, but I wanted to. Uh, I just had something on my heart. I really wanted to say to everyone that'll listen. Out of everything I've ever done or said in my life, if there was one thing I wish you would really take to heart, this is, this is just that one thing, okay? It's Psalms 119 verses 2 and Jeremiah 29 13. They both say the same thing where God says, you will find me when you seek me with your whole heart. And um, I think it's one of the most underrated verses of the Bible, one of the most underused verses. It's, it's like the starting path for all knowledge, for all wisdom. And uh, I know that years ago when I came under a heavy trial, I guess you could say, it was the very first thing that I said in my prayer. I said, I will find you, you know. And uh, um, there was a guy I met the other day. He was, he was, uh, he, he tracked me down at, at a Walmart parking lot asking for money for gas. And uh, I said, I'm not going to give you money. And he said, uh, well, will you follow me to the gas station? You can buy the gas for me, you know? And I said, yeah, I'll do that. And uh, so I went over to the gas station with him. And um, and I talked with the man for a little bit. And just consider this. He was begging me for money. And at, at one point in our conversation, I begged him, in a manner of speaking, keep God first you know uh, I just want people to understand the the priorities there you know money is something it's just paper you know don't don't think of yourself as great because of having it you know we live in a time um, where everyone's everyone's got money if you don't have money then you're being foolish or something of the like it's just so easy to come by money um, but I don't want to get on that topic my, my point is that in the scriptures it says um, I think it's in Proverbs or in Psalms it says let me not become rich for I will say I don't need God and I believe we're in a time of that right now where everyone's rich in themselves and everyone's saying I don't need God you know or they're saying I'm blessed because I'm rich and that has nothing to do with with blessings but um anyways I'm begging you please take to heart this verse it's it's the, the starting point the path to all of righteousness to all of God's blessedness to the way we should live it's you will find God if you seek him with your whole heart take to heart this verse and study it have you ever searched for something with your whole heart before in your life who how many people do you know can say that uh, I, again I want to point to we live in a time where everything's so readily available and so easy to achieve you know um, it, you say, I'm hungry, you will find food rather quickly, okay? I'm thirsty, you will find water, you know, quite quickly. Um, I believe that the American people and perhaps most of the known world, uh, known world, most of the world, uh, they don't know what it means to search for something with your whole heart. As if you were seeking God with such a, a ferventness to say either I will find you or I will die I mean that sort of determination you know I think of Jacob when uh, he, he was wrestling with the Lord and uh, 
he said, I'm going to hold on to you and I will not let you go until you bless me. That determination, I want you to have in your heart. So, um, that's all I want to say. Uh, I hope, I hope these words speak to you. Have a great day.